So we have our DEM file, and what we're going to want to do is save it somewhere where we can get to it. So I have a folder. Come on. Oh, the struggle is real. There we go. And the two files that I want are my DEM file and my intersection error. I'm going to need those later. So I'm going to just drag those and drop them. So here they are, and this is the JPEG I created before. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take this JPEG and I'm going to process it so that uh, the contrast is a lot higher. I use Adobe Lightroom. You can use whatever you want to do, but I, I think Lightroom works pretty good. And what I'm going to do here is I just like to up my clarity. And that's it. It's easy as that. Now just export that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use this hull underscore mask Python code um, to find the border of our dune. This is going to be input into the volume algorithm and that's how we're going to find our volume. So what you do is you open this file and it should, what, what you're going to, need to do is this, this variable draw, you're going to need to tell it where to find your image. So for me this is where it is. It's a, in a folder called high rise example and it's called example dash two because this is the one that I just increased the contrast on. Um, so I, I named it example dash two. So this is the one that's already been pre-processed. The second thing you have to do is you have to name this text file, your um, output file. So I just name it example underscore hull. I also keep it in a different folder, but that's just what I choose to do. Uh, this what this is is the text file where your coordinates are going to be output. The next thing you have to do is fill in x1, y1, x2, x, x2, y2. This is for the masking feature. Basically what you're going to do, um, I have it open in paint, but you can see I want it kind of, that's like the top of the dune there. Um, right about there-ish maybe. So 435 and 314. Basically we're doing, we're trying to make a box around our dune and that's um, going to mask our dune. So 1029 and 1166. 1029. And then the next thing is the threshold. So this is going to determine um, what is white in our binary image and what is black in our binary image. And you'll see that in a minute. So I'm going to make this 80 for now because I feel like 20 is way too low. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to open my command prompt. Now this is on my Windows machine. This is not on the, the server anymore. So I'm going to make sure I'm in the right directory to get to my code. So my code is in desk, uh, yeah, desktop. And this is Windows, so capitalization doesn't matter anymore. High rise. Okay, now I'm in the right directory, so I'm just going to run the code. Ooh. Python, derp. And I messed something up. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Alright, I think I fixed it. Let's try that again. Okay, so it opens up. It's this is just um just showing what is masked off. Looks pretty good to me. 
that's the binary image. So what this tells me is that my threshold is pretty bad because there's a lot of things that are white in here. Really what I should see is just the dune um, as white. So as you can see, my contour is total garbage because of my threshold. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adjust my threshold. So the lower the number, the more stuff is going to be white. So I need to bring that up higher. It's probably still not high enough. I'm getting better. All right, I've done this a few more times and I've found a setting that I'm pretty happy with. But as you can see, there is a connection here. I'm going to show you how to deal with that. So it's actually probably wanted a little bit lower so I get more of this area. But for the sake of this example, I'm just going to I'm just going to leave it how it is for now. Um, so what do I do if I have these difficult areas? I could pre-process the image more uh, before I put it in here, and, but there's another option available to me. So what I'm going to do is I just basically want the this connect to be connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to my image and paint, and I'm just going to do a freeform selection and kind of eyeball it because there's really not enough information in there um, for the computer to distinguish. So I'm just going to create this black blob there and see if that helps. And you can see in the binary image that it's much, that definitely fixed the problem. So now I'm pretty happy with my uh, contour. Really, if I was doing this for research instead of just as an example, I would definitely want this extended to get this portion of the dune here. But that would just, it just takes playing with to get it right. So I'm going to close out of that. And that should have. Let's see. So what that did is it made this file here uh, that has every point of that border as a vector. And it just lists them all out. And it's already been formatted so that these can just be input directly into the volume estimation code uh, that Stan made. I'm pretty sure I named that volume hall. <laughs> you can see how many times I've used this. Okay, I'm just going to comment out all of my previous attempts. Uh, make a new one. Call it example. So the first thing I have to change is um, where I want this output output so I'm gonna put it in example or where I'm not where I want to output that's where my file is located so <clears throat> example now this time we're actually going to be inputting our DEM here so that's why we need to bring it over so example uh, this one uh, is our intersection error. So we copied over our intersection error before and this is just going to give us um, an intersection error. So I'm going to make this big so you can see what I'm doing. Example. Okay, so yeah, this is the directory we're working in. This is my the location of my DEM and this is the location of my intersection error. <clears throat> now, what we're going to do, so I'm actually just going to delete this, Verts is equal to, and what I want to put between those square brackets is 
my coordinates for the boundary around my dune. So I'm just gonna select all, copy, go back to volume underscore hull, paste, and that was easy. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this very first uh, point, paste it here, and that's pretty much it. Now I'm just going to run it, and it should give me the volume of my dune. So again, i got to make sure I'm in the right directory, and I'm sure that there, are, if you're a computer person, you're watching this, and you're just like, wow, you are terrible, but that's okay, I don't care. <laughs> uh, volume codes. All right, cool. So you can see here it output my volume as 221,000 kilometers cubed and here it output my error volume which is 101,000 kilometers cubed. This wasn't a very good, um, this is a pretty bad dune. <laughs> I didn't customize anything for this dune, I just kind of did it real quick for this. So yeah, uh, I'm, if I hope you enjoyed, I believe. This outputs to oh, outputs to a file so you can read it. Let me see. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Volume results. Okay, so it should just show up at the bottom of the volume results file. Yep, there we go. My volume and my intersection error volume. So if you're running like ten of these at the same time, it'll all just end up writing appending to the end of this document and if you don't already have this document it'll write it without um, you telling it to. Okay, uh, that is it. I hope that this was helpful. I'm sorry if it was slow and boring <laughs> but hopefully it's a good reference. Feel free to email me. Uh, my name, it's my name at um, community isunet.edu, so Meredith, here, I'll just type it on the screen so you can see it, right here. This is my email address, meredith.campbell at community.isunet.edu. If you need help with anything, please feel free to email me, um, and I'll do my best to respond. And have fun with the project, because I really liked it. Alright, bye.